key uh, challenge today for flexible packaging is the really bad image it has in terms of litter. Uh, it's something you use often on the go, so it's something that's going to be often seen uh, on a beach or in a forest. Its real challenge is not to be seen and not to be part of litter, not to end up in the sea and in the environment. First of all, uh, consumer behavior, but us as an industry, we have to make our solutions uh, recyclable and we have to make something that consumers will be happy about recycling and uh, not just throwing anywhere. To be able to use something again, it has to be easy to recycle. Therefore, we have to work on uh, the materials that packaging is made of making a mono material, so something that is easy to recognize as a plastic, as a one kind of plastic. That is going to be the real breakthrough for the future. You know, trying to simplify our materials. Simplify them, but not reduce functionality and remain with something that protects our food and protects the consumer. It's um, something we can do as um, you know, plastics uh, producers and packaging producers, but it has to be the whole value chain working together as a big team. So we need more collection. It has to be easy for everybody around Europe to be able to throw away their packaging and their waste in the right place. So only through widespread collection and uh, better infrastructure, better technology to recycle, to collect and recycle, will we be able to achieve the purpose. We can have a perfect pack, but if no one collects it, it'll never make its way to become something else, so to have a second life.